Hey everybody, this is Coach Marcus from Move Parkour. And three months ago, I got these Kalinji's Active Brief running shoes and I said I'll do a three month and six month review as well to show you guys how this shoe has done across time with parkour. Now, just to give you an idea, I, I go out for parkour about two to three times a week and every week I spend anywhere between six to eight hours in total. So probably about two to about uh, three to four hours per session or per day uh, doing parkour, running, jumping, landing, climbing stuff. So if your lifestyle is somewhat similar, then this review would be quite useful for you. And if not, you just then throttle it up or throttle it down. So the very first thing I was concerned about were the rubber pieces at the bottom of the shoe, right? So with every running shoe, you will have sometimes these kind of rubber pieces. And every time I buy a shoe and use it for parkour that has these rubber pieces, these first two tend to peel off, these first two rows tend to peel off. Uh, but thankfully, I'm looking at this right now, it has done pretty well. I don't see any signs of any of the rubbers peeling off at the moment. In fact, it feels like it's integrated even more into the shoe, right? To provide more support, to provide more security, and to provide more grip. Uh, the other part that usually comes off is this first front part of the shoe as well. And again, I don't see any signs of it ever coming out at the moment. So I'm looking forward to see how long these rubber pieces last after six months of use. Now the second bit is the comfort of the shoe over time. So most shoes, when you buy them and you wear them for long periods, it will start to mold and shape according to your foot. So it's true for the Kalenji, right? So the material is made in such a way that it's stretchable and uh, it will, in time, it will then mold according to your foot so that it's easier to slip in, slip out and easier to then, and more comfortable to, 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 to wear for any sports uh, that you do. Uh, the second thing that I really look out for is really the inner sole. So typically, the inner sole provides a bit of cushion on top of the cushion that's already been provided by the outer sole. And most times, the front of the inner sole starts to flatten out and starts to degrade. Uh, so unfortunately for the Kalinji, that is true as well. This front part right here, where the front of your foot lands, uh, is starting to flatten out. And when I put my feet in, it feels like I'm hitting directly at the bottom of the shoe. It almost feels like there is no inner sole. Um, so this has become slightly uncomfortable, especially when you're landing, you feel the concrete directly. But I think because of the extra cushion on the outer sole here that's a little bit harder rubber, I still get enough protection, enough cushion when I land. However, I would have preferred if the inner sole would have last a little bit longer than that. And finally, because you know in Malaysia it rains quite a bit, I do look out for shoes that do well in rain as well. Because in parkour, we do train in the rain. And fortunately for the Kalinji, it's made of a material that dries really fast. So even if it rains or if someone accidentally pours water on your shoe, it dries off really quickly and it doesn't smell. Uh, that's one of the, one of the huge uh, indicators of a good shoe because it doesn't smell and even if it gets wet, it dries quite well. Uh, and, and I love shoes like that because we do train in the rain quite a bit. However, the bottom of the shoe does become very slippery when wet. So I've tried this a few times, it rain or there's a bit of water, a bit of sand on the ground, especially if it's uh, uh, smooth surfaces, uh, then it becomes extremely dangerous to parkour in these shoes because the grip suddenly just goes out of whack. Uh, so no, I would not recommend to wear these shoes to train in the rain. However, if you do have accidental spills of water on it, don't worry. Or if you fall in a lake or a pond, don't worry. It dries off pretty quickly and it doesn't smell. So what I look forward to in the six months, Mavra, I look forward to number one, seeing how these rubbers fare. And one more thing is that because when we land, we tend to land like this on the balls of our feet, I'm starting to notice some cracks in the middle here and likewise in this side as well. And I want to see how long these rubbers will last. And if you look very closely here, you also see some cracks coming out at the sides because of the excessive landing and jumping so let's see how much longer these rubbers can last and whether a hole will start to appear and that becomes really annoying because water will start going in and your socks get wet and it's just not usable after that right um, and last but not least i am looking forward to seeing if these any part of the top of the shoe will start to tear as you can see it's already starting to tear a little bit here but this is due to the maybe my, the, the, the way i train the way i move but I want to see how long the top part lasts 
because typically after six months we start to have holes in our shoes at the top right here All right so that's it for me right now for the third month review i see you guys again on the sixth month bye thanks for watching